Oh. Hello YouTube, Since I'm H here for episode 16 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use heavy water, which we talked about how to get in a previous video, in the previous episode, and we're going to show how to turn it into both deuterium and then take that deuterium and turn some of it into tritium. You're going to need both of those uh, materials in order to make the fuel that the fusion reactor will run on. Okay, and it's not really all that difficult at all. Okay, so first, how do you get deuterium? Well, so what you want to do is you want to take your heavy water that you got from the heavy water extractor, see it over there, and you want to put it into an electrolyzer. Okay, so put it into an electrolyzer, and then power up the Van de Graaff generator, and you'll see that, you're produ that we are producing deuterium. Now, I didn't set this up right, because the deuterium isn't going to come out of the boutum. Maybe it comes out the top. What is that? Deuterium. That's what we want. And then we'll just put it... I thought I had a reservoir. Got rid of it. And you can put that not into a reservoir. Maybe we can. There you go. So in order to store deuterium in a reservoir, you got to put a glass pane on top of it. And then we can store the deuterium that we are producing. It's also going to produce oxygen gas as a byproduct. So figure out what you want to do with it. Because eventually, if this tank fills up, it's not going to produce more deuterium. Oh, that won't just make the land get explode. But you're going to need a lot of deuterium, and as you can see, this is not very quick. Not really. Compared to the amount of heavy water it's using, now you're gonna need, you're gonna want a lot of these setups. You're gonna want to have a bunch of electrolyzers running, producing deuterium. All right, so that's how you get your deuterium. Let's turn that off. So now you've got some deuterium, but deuterium is only half the battle. You need tritium. So if you come this way, I have in the interim cleaned out my little uh, steam problem. <laughs> the base is back to mostly working order. How is there tritium in there already? I'm not sure. Oh well. Okay, so we're over here at our um, little what with a six core fission react uh, fission reactor. Um, it's not a six core anymore. It's actually a five core. You don't. Ha I didn't have to do that, but it was the easiest thing for me to do. Was to just bash the fuel core off and stick this there. This is the neutron radiation chamber, and I just remembered I didn't show you how to construct it. Pop back over here really quickly. The neutron irradiation chamber is just going to turn deuterium into tritium. It's crafted with three liquid pipes, two blocks of glass, and four HSLA steel ingots. Very cheap to make. We'll head back over. Back here at our reactor. So, we'll throw some fuel pellets in the uh, chest here and the reactor will fire up. Most of that's probably just steam that was already there. But the way that the neutron irradiation chamber works is that you pump you pump deuterium into it and this is one of the ways you could do it using a fluid compression chamber. Um, but you can't use uh, like regular rotary craft liquid pipes if you do that because they will explode because of the high pressure. And you put deuterium into the irradiation chamber, which doesn't have a GUI, but you can see it has a, the tank is full of deuterium, and then we'll produce tritium. What happens is that the neutron irradiation chamber will absorb neutrons from a fission reactor. So as the neutrons are produced by the fuel cores and they're bouncing around inside the reactor, they will be absorbed by the irradiation chamber and produce tritium. 
Now this is a very small reactor, definitely probably not what you would want to use for this. Uh, especially since I have actually lowered the power output by getting rid of the core, but it's actually turning out to be okay. Um, but if you have like that uh, that 12 core design that I showed you in the one video, uh, you could there there are a couple of, of spots where you could probably uh, slot in uh, irradiation chambers. Because all you're looking to do is get these irradiation chambers in the line of fire of some neutrons, and this gem has some tritium. Obviously, you're going to need a couple of reactors using the radiation chambers um, because it's actually pretty slow. Isn't that bad? But you're getting a lot of this stuff, so it's pretty slow just doing one of them. But this is how you get your tritium. And once you have a uh, stock of deuterium and of tritium, you can go ahead to the next part of the process talk about that in a future video because that's very involved. That's another multi-block structure. That'll probably actually be two videos. But as you can see, get, uh, getting deuterium and tritium is not difficult. You do, however, need to have a reactor set up. So you cannot avoid building a fission reactor and jump straight to a fusion reactor. You can't do it because you have to use the fission reactor to get your tritium. Okay? <laughs> there you go. So, that's basically it. It wasn't a very long video, it wasn't a very involved process, it's pretty simple. Just take your uh, heavy water, throw it into an electrolyzer to get deuterium, throw that deuterium into a neutron irradiation chamber inside of a nuclear reactor to get tritium. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. <laughs> okay, so in the next episode of this series, we will take a look at the uh, hydrogen preheater, that entire structure and uh, how to use deuterium and tritium to uh, produce the actual plasma that is fed into the fusion reactor. Now, just to reiterate once again, uh, once we get to the point of needing to talk about the actual fusion reactor, this series of tutorial is going to go on a bit of a hiatus because it's going to take me a while to uh, get everything together um, that I wanted to do for the actual fusion reactor. So, uh, don't be alarmed, there are going to be uh, there's a new series that's going to be coming out to uh, take that slot. In the meantime, while I work on that, it's going to be a big build. So look forward to that. That's uh, this is basically that an, an announcement as well from the next uh, large-scale build. Um, so look forward to that. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.